Hello guys and welcome to another tutorial on this channel. Two weeks ago I got a question from Leon TV. He asked how can I test my CPU and GPU? Can you send me a tutorial or how to video? So this video is for you. I'm going to show you um, what program you need to use. It's MSI Afterburner and how you're able to find out if you're running into a CPU GPU bottleneck or maybe also you run is the cause for your performance issues. So what you need to do is uh, download MSI Afterburner first, go on the official homepage, msi.com page Afterburner, click on downloads and download MSI Afterburner. I already downloaded it, it's here. So, I'm started now. Um, it's very important on uh, choose components to select both. If you just select MSI Afterburner, uh, you're just able to overclock your CPU, but you also want to. Um, yeah, to see how you, the CPU usage and the GPU usage is so you've got also to install the virtual statistics here. I'm not going to do the installation progress now I've got already installed it because this system is a normal benchmark system um, so I don't need to install it again. Um, after the install it's possible that you've got to reboot your system and after the reboot you should start MSI Afterburner <coughs> and this is how it's looking um, here you're able to overclock your GPU but we don't want to do this right now we go directly into the settings here and here you can go into monitoring this is called monitoring in English and here you've got to select some things. Um, you need to activate GPU usage, show on screen display, GPU usage. You've got to activate all your CPU usage cores, every core you've got to activate, every core you don't want to see just uh, the, uh, the one um, usage here, you want to see it for every core. So activate it also and you also want to see the frame rate should be activated and the RAM usage so <clears throat> of course uh, I activated here some uh, more options uh, because of my benchmarks but you don't need it so you should only activate uh, CPU usage GPU usage frame rate and RAM usage that's what you need so click on OK and uh, afterwards you can start the game. Uh, we are going to try out Dota 2. So now we are in Dota 2. Um, you shouldn't change anything on your game options. You want to see uh, how the game performs in your normal settings so you can keep them. Right now I'm using um, yeah, the game is maxed out you can't add any to it. So we should jump directly into spectator mode. Maybe this game here. And see how CPU and GPU are going to behave. So we are in game right now. Um, the game is of course running quite well. But you can already see um, the GPU here top left it isn't uh, under full usage meaning in this case the CPU is a bottleneck um, if the uh, GPU would be at 100% and the GPU might be around I don't know 70 80% uh, you would be uh, running into a GPU bottleneck so it might be um, 
necessary to upgrade your GPU. But if you're running at 100% GPU usage and you're getting enough FPS, that's not a problem, you know. It's it's just a problem if you're running into low FPS and you've got 100% CPU or GPU usage. And RAM in this case, it's got a it's a PC with 8 GB here I'm using right now. Is it 6 uh, GB usage? It's also okay. So there's not anything else to say. I mean, it's not a rocket science. <laughs> Just check if your CPU usage is at 100% and or your, your GPU usage and uh, see how many FPS you get. See how much FPS you get. Yeah, that's it basically. It's not that complicated. I think everybody's able to find out if uh, CPU or GPU is a bottleneck in the system. Um, I hope you liked this tutorial. Uh, leave a like and subscribe. See you on the next benchmark. Bye bye.